we're going to continue our review with this week. Remember, on Monday night, you'll do question number one. On Tuesday night, you'll do question number two. Wednesday night, you do question number three. And Thursday night, you'll do question number four. Then you'll the video that you'll watch for that night will rec uh, be recording the answers and how to solve for those questions from the night before. Question number two. Margaret had a doctor appointment at the time shown on the clock below. What are two ways to read this time? Now remember with time, we always start with the shorthand, and the short word is hour. So if you look at the shorthand, the hour hand, it is between the three and the four. It has not passed the four yet. It's getting really close, but since it's not at the four or past the four, it's still three. Then we're going to look at our minute hand. Minute is the longer word, so the minute hand is the longer hand. And remember, we count minutes by starting at the top, which is zero, and counting around by fives. So zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. We're right on the nine, so we're at three hours and forty-five minutes. So we could read it normal way as three forty-five. We could also do it as a fraction. And remember, if you do it by a fraction, you can split the clock into four equal pieces. Our minute hand stops right here. So we're going to go around three quarters of the clock, which leaves us this one fourth section, this one quarter until the next hour. And if we're at 345, the next hour is 4. So you could have written it out as 345. You could have also said that it is a quarter till 4. And a quarter till 4 is equal to saying it is 15 minutes till 4 because each quarter of the hour is 15 minutes. You could also say it is 45 minutes past 3. So those are a bunch of different ways that you could say the time that we had on the clock shown. So check your work over this one, then you'll complete question number 3 for you to check over tomorrow.